Let's talk about everything you need to know about every trim level offered on the all-new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. There are five trim levels available on the 2024 Crosstrek, but which one's right for you? Let's find out. In this video, we'll be covering engine and drivetrain, standard features and standard safety features, every trim level offered on the 2024 Crosstrek, along with pricing, standard features, optional packages, and exterior and interior color choices for each. We'll cover nationwide inventory for the Crosstrek and make sure you'll be able to find exactly the one you're looking for. And we'll wrap up with our top picks, where we tell you which one we might choose. The idea for the Crosstrek is simple. Take an Impreza hatchback with a proven all-wheel drive system, lift it up a few inches, throw some extra cladding on it, and sell it as a crossover. Now, obviously there's a lot more engineering that goes into it than that, but no matter how we got here, the Crosstrek has been a smash hit for Subaru since we first saw it in the United States for the 2013 model year. The 2024 model year is the first of the Crosstrek's newest third generation. The formula has stayed pretty consistent. The design for this new generation has evolved subtly, not radically, very much what we're used to with Subaru. And with a starting price just over $25,000, we get a very compelling value proposition. Let's talk about what you get. There will be two engines available on the Subaru Crosstrek. The first we'll see on the base and premium trims, a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder Subaru Boxer engine making 152 horsepower and netting about 34 mpg highway and 27 mpg city. If you move up to the Sport, Limited, or Wilderness trims, you get a 2.5-liter 4-cylinder Subaru Boxer engine making 182 horsepower and this should get you about 33 miles per gallon highway and 26 in the city. Considering the Crosstrek has received criticism for feeling underpowered with the 2.0-liter engine, it's probably better to spring for one of the trims with a 2.5-liter, especially considering the small compromise in fuel economy. The Wilderness will see a dip in fuel economy to 29 miles per gallon highway, 25 city. Towing capacity on all trims will be 1,500 pounds, with the exception of the Wilderness, which will have a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. The only transmission option on all Crosstreks will be Subaru's Linear Tronic CVT. All Crosstreks will have four-wheel independent raised suspension and four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes. And of course, all Crosstreks will come standard with Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive, along with vehicle dynamics control, active torque vectoring, X mode, and hill descent control. You'll also have Subaru's SI drive, which allows you to switch between intelligent or sport mode. On the Sport, Limited, and Wilderness trims, you'll get Dual Function X Mode that adds a deep snow and mud mode. Standard connectivity features, you'll get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, Sirius XM, AM FM stereo, HD radio, Bluetooth audio streaming and hands-free phone and text messaging connectivity, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack, and illuminated front USB-A input port. Other interior amenities will include a dual zone automatic climate control system, dual cup holders in the center console, a single bottle holder in each door panel, a manually adjustable tilt and telescoping steering column, power windows with auto up down for just the front windows, power door locks, and power side mirrors. Rounding off the standard features, you'll have a keyless entry system, auto vehicle hold or brake hold, a rear cargo tray, a cargo area with two grocery bag hooks and four tie down hooks, auto on off LED steering responsive headlights, daytime running lights, wheel arch and lower body cladding, a roof spoiler, and a temporary spare tire. We'll start off standard safety features with the Subaru EyeSight suite of driver safety, which includes advanced adaptive cruise control with lane centering, pre-collision braking, lane departure and sway warning, lane keep assist, and automatic emergency steering. You'll also get high beam assist, brake assist, a brake override system, front, side curtain, seat mounted side, and a driver's knee and passenger seat cushion airbags, rear child safety door locks, lower anchors and tethers for child seats, a tire pressure monitoring system, and a backup camera. All right, let's talk trims. Subaru likes to make my job here exceptionally easy and starts their trim lineup with the base trim simply being called base. Gotta love the transparency. Pricing starts at $25,195, Outside of the standard features, here's what the base trim gets you. 17-inch dark gray alloy wheels, all-season tires, black folding side mirrors, roof crossbar mounting points, not roof rails, just the mounting points. It's a little funny to me that they list this as a feature, so I had to call it out. Cloth seats, manually adjustable front seats, Subaru Starlink dual 7-inch displays, and a four-speaker audio system. Exterior color options on the base trim will be Crystal Black, Horizon Blue, Ice Silver, 
Magnetite Gray, Pure Red, Crystal White, Sunblaze, Sapphire Blue, or for an extra $395, Offshore Blue. Your only interior color option will be gray cloth. Next, we've got the premium trim, starting at $26,345. Building on the features of the base, we'll add keyless access with push button start, paddle shifters. You'll get the controversial Tesla style Subaru Starlink 11.6 inch center touchscreen. They've been using these for a while now, so hopefully a lot of the bugs are worked out, but there have been a lot of reviews noting the system kind of bugging out sometimes or just generally running slow plus the grievance of not having the dedicated climate buttons. If you're bothered by the idea of that, definitely something to be aware of. You'll get six speakers instead of four, 4G LTE Wi-Fi capability, as well as Subaru Starlink safety and security app. You'll add a USB-C input in addition to the USB-A input up front, and also illuminated rear USB-A and USB-C charging ports. You get body color door handles, a folding rear seat armrest with dual cup holders, sun visors with a concealed illuminated vanity mirror, an illuminated glove box, roof rails, and LED fog lights. Specific styling cues for the premium will include 17 inch dark gray alloy wheels with a machine finish, dark gray finish folding side mirrors with integrated turn signals, and premium cloth seats. There's one optional package available on the premium for $2,245, which will add a power moonroof, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, a 10 way power driver's seat, and the all-weather package, which includes heated front seats, exterior mirrors, and a windshield wiper de-icer. Exterior color options will be Crystal Black, Horizon Blue, Ice Silver, Pure Red, Sun Blaze, or Sapphire Blue, which are only available with a black cloth interior. You'll also have Crystal White, Magnetite Gray, or Offshore Blue for an extra $395, which can be paired with either a black or gray cloth interior. Let's add a little more flair here with the sport trim, starting at $29,195. In addition to the slightly bigger and more powerful engine, you'll also add a leather wrapped steering wheel, a leather wrapped shifter handle, and a retractable and removable cargo area cover. From the sport trim forward, you'll also get the all weather package included as standard, which again is a windshield wiper de-icer, heated side mirrors, and heated front seats. Specific styling cues for the sport will be 18 inch dark gray alloy wheels, gloss black finish folding side mirrors with integrated turn signals, yellow exterior accents that carry over to the interior, or you'll get sport cloth upholstery with yellow accents and contrast stitching. There's one optional package available on the sport for $1,945, which will add blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, a 10 way power driver's seat, and a power moonroof. Exterior color options will be crystal black, ice silver, magnetite gray, crystal white, sapphire blue or alpine green for an additional $395. Your only interior color option will be the sport cloth, which has that yellowish accent color carried over from the outside trim. Now we have the most luxurious cross trek available, the limited trim starting at $31,095, where we add blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert, which will only come standard on the limited and wilderness trims. Specific features for the limited will be 18 inch dark gray alloy wheels with a machine finish, dark gray finish folding side mirrors with integrated turn signals. And this will be the only Crosstrek trim to receive a power driver seat as standard, and also the only trim of Crosstrek to offer leather seats, and it will have some nice orange contrast stitching. There are actually two available option packages on the Limited. The first one for $1,795 will add a power moonroof and a Harman Kardon premium audio system. The second one, $2,445 and will add navigation features to the Starlink display in addition to the moonroof and premium audio. Not sure who's prioritizing factory navigation when Apple CarPlay exists, but if you just want it built in, this is the only Crosstrek trim with that option. Exterior color options will be Crystal Black, Ice Silver, Lithium Red, Sunblaze Pearl, or Sapphire Blue that are only offered with a black leather interior with orange accent stitching. You can also choose Magnetite Gray, Crystal White, or Alpine Green for an additional $395, and you'll have your choice of either black leather or gray leather with orange contrast stitching. All right, now let's talk the Wilderness trim starting at $32,195. This is the most rugged trim and possibly the one you all came here to see. Starting with some mechanical differences, you'll have the same 2.5 liter boxer engine and symmetrical all-wheel drive. But the Wilderness gets a modified ratio for the CVT, which better equips the Wilderness to climb steep grades, and also the 2,000 pound increase in towing capacity to 3,500 pounds. 
you'll have additional ground clearance with 9.3 inches of total ground clearance for the wilderness compared to 8.7 inches on the other models plus the different bumpers that improve some of the off-road angles interestingly you'll also get about an 8 inch better turning radius on this one than the other trims because of that ever so slightly shorter wheelbase the most obvious differences here include the additional body cladding, which is a staple of the Super Wilderness trim. There's also a matte black hood decal to reduce glare. You'll also have 17 inch matte black wheels wrapped in all terrain tires to match the matte black side mirrors, hexagonal LED fog lights, and plenty of copper accents, including on the roof rails and bumpers. The copper accents also carry over to the interior, where you'll get StarTex water repellent upholstery. I think the Crosstrek Wilderness is by far the best looking of all the Wilderness models compared to the Forester and Outback. Let me know what you all think in the comments. Is it the best looking one? The only available option package will be $2,270 and will add a power moonroof, Harman Kardon premium audio system, and a 10-way power driver seat. Available exterior colors will be Crystal Black, Geyser Blue, Ice Silver, Lithium Red, Magnetite Gray, Sun Blaze, Crystal White, Sapphire Blue, or Alpine Green for $395. And the only interior option on the Wilderness will be the StarTex water repellent upholstery. All right, let's take a look at US nationwide inventory. Looks like there'll be plenty to choose from no matter the flavor, with the exception of the bare bones base trim. There are notably more available models toward the top of the lineup, as the Limited and Wilderness both have close to 5,000 available units each. It'd be interesting to know if this is because these are expected to be the volume selling trims or if the inventory of the higher trims is higher because more people are just opting for the lower price trims. All right, let's get to our top picks. So which cross tracks the sweet spot? The base trim is notably lacking in features we see across all other trims of cross track. But if you're looking for the absolute cheapest way to get a reliable and respectably capable crossover, this one will do the trick. But with less than $1,200 more to get to the premium trim, that one would make a lot more sense. The premium will be a solid option, and in all honesty, probably should be the starting point for the Crosstrek trims, but I respect Subaru for wanting to offer the lowest possible price of entry. The biggest knock for the premium would be the 2 liter engine versus the more powerful 2.5 liter engine in higher trims, and if you're set on the premium, you'll probably want to add that optional package to get the added safety tech with the blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. And the all weather package for the heated side mirrors, heated seats, and wiper de-icer, especially if you're in a colder climate. But if you're adding that option package to the premium, you'll be just a few hundred dollars short of the sport trim, which includes that all-weather package as standard, and not to mention the bigger 2.5 liter engine, which is almost a necessity to keep the Crosstrek on par with competitive vehicles like the Mazda CX-30's base engine. The only thing keeping the sport trim from top pick honors is the added yellow accents and the sport-specific styling, which may not appeal to everyone. But if you like the way it looks, get a sport and you should be beyond satisfied. With that said, we're making the limited trim the top pick for the Crosstrek. While it is toward the higher end of pricing for the Crosstrek, it's still a very nice priced car, even for the segment at just over $31,000. It's going to be the most comfortable option with the leather seats and standard power driver's seat. You get the better engine, a handsome and understated exterior styling, and all the safety features as standard since it includes the blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert as standard. To mention the Wilderness, it's obviously on its own in the lineup with its improved capability and the styling is potentially very polarizing. If you like the Wilderness, you probably love it, and none of the other trims will do. All that said, there's a reason this continues to be a massive seller for Subaru, and in a world where the average price paid for a new car in the United States is close to $50,000, there's a ton of value here. Let us know in the comments which one you'd choose. Thanks so much for watching, until next time, stay safe, and remember, life's too short to drive a base model.